Through popular demand, uh, people have been asking me to make harder versions of some of my problems. Well, I'm going to do that with inverse variations. Inverse variations happen to be pretty simple equations. Um, the thing is, you have to be able to read the equation correctly. So when it starts off, y varies inversely with x, that immediately tells you that your k is going to be put on top of x. That's what the definition of inversely means. Now, this k is some constant. Typically, they won't tell you what that constant is. Now, what they did tell you is that x is 50 and y is 2.7. They then go on with the problem. They say, find y when x is 80. So basically, they're trying to get you to use another uh, input to get an output. Problem is, you can't find out what this y is until you know what this k is. And the only way you're going to be able to find that k is if you use the information given originally. So with substitution, basically y was 2.7 and you had it equal to k all over your 50. So to get k by itself, what you're going to do is you're going to take this, multiply both sides by 50. The 50s will cross out. You'll get k equals 50 times 2.7. You can do that with um, well, 2.7 times 50. You can do all sorts of things. I'm going to tell you right now it's 135, so you go and practice that on your own. Now that you know what k is, what happens is you say, all right, sweet. I know what k is. k is 300, 135, excuse me, all over x. Now I can find out what happens when x is 80. So what you're doing is you're saying, let's make y equal 135 all over 80. So reduce this down. Now they want you to reduce down to your answer to the nearest tenth, so you're going to need to use long division. We don't have to make it tremendously complicated. You say 135 all over 80. How many times does 80 go into 1? Doesn't. How many times does 80 go into 13? Doesn't. How many times does 80 go into 135? It goes into it one time. There's where our decimal place is going to be. 80 times 1 is 80 and you subtract these, you're going to get 55. Okay. How many times does 80 go into 55? It doesn't, so you need this zero, so we can drop it down, put it here. How many times does 80 go into 550? That goes into it, let's see, five, six times. Eight times six is 480. Let's cross this out, seven zeros minus good. How many times 80 go into 70? It doesn't. We need another zero. So we drop it down. How many times does 80 go into 700? Eight times. Eight times 80 is 640. We, need to, we can just stop here. We can stop here because we already can round up to our nearest tenths, and therefore the final answer would be y is going to equal 1.7. And that's what would have gone right here.